so much. All right. It's time to bring you our social intervention segment. But don't forget that when it's 7 a.m., we'll be looking at the National Dailies, what they reported on their front pages today. Stay with us. And thanks for joining us on Perspectives in Politics. I am Oge Ihinekwen. Former Governor of Lagos State, Bola Akmen Tinubu, clinched the presidential ticket of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. His emergence set off an epic challenge between him and the candidate of the PDP, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar, in 2023. Bola Akbertinibu's victory at the primary did not come without the support of many other contenders whose sacrifices turned the tide in Tinubu's favor. <laughs> Nigerian Senate President Ahmed Lawan, who was also an aspirant in the primary, said the outcome of the electoral process has shown that Tinubu was the popular choice of the party. He commended the presidential primary, adding that it was manifestly free, fair and credible. The race to the 2023 presidential election appears to have started on a cordial note as the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Apubaka congratulated Bola Akmetinibu on his emergence as the standard bearer of the All Progressive Congress APC. In a tweet on his verified Twitter handle, Atiku hailed Tinubu's tenacity which resulted in his eventual victory. Atiku Abubakar expressed his gratitude to governors elect on the platform of the People's Democratic Party PDP when he met with them and the party national chairman Iyocha Ayu in Abuja. Sokoto State Governor Aminu Tambua, who addressed the media after the meeting, described the meeting as fruitful and another step towards the party's victory at the presidential election next year. I've discussed about cooperation, collaboration, and prosecuting a very, very successful electioneering campaign that will result into victories for the PDP at various elections from State House of Assembly, National Assembly, Governorship, and the presidential election uh, come February 2023. Meanwhile, the immediate past National Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, APC, John Akpanudu Adehe, has joined the new Nigerian People's Party, NPP. <music> Former Governor of Kano State, Rabiu Musa Kwangwaso, becomes presidential candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party, NPP, to contest the 2023 elections after Olufemi Ajaji stepped down to support him. Others withdrew from the race before the primary. Uh, 2023 is between security and insecurity. And I can assure you, with the political win from the Commander-in-Chief, this, what is happening in this country, will be a thing of the the national chairman of Zeni Liberal Party, Dan Wanyao, emerged the presidential candidate of the party to contest the 2023 general elections during the national convention and presidential primary held in Abuja. I have been given more responsibility to go back to the drawing table to work because Nigeria needs work. We have to work hard to re engineer the system. If you listen to me when I spoke, 
uh, is not just being on the ballot, it's having ideas as to how to turn things around. The battle for governorship in Gombe State intensified as three political gladiators come head to head to contest for the state's number one position in the state. The incumbent governor and candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, Inua Yahaya, will need all the votes he can get to see off rivals. That's the package for today. Join us same time tomorrow for more. I am Oge. Okay. Ihi make me.